Welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Yeah, I'm back in my office. Yeah. Well, what could I say? It was a um, very busy period of my time of my life, but um, thank God everything is now running uh, according to schedule. So I've got a few people up north. If you watched my videos uh, the last few weeks, um, I was talking about me going up north. We have a big project. Um, yeah, so you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, you watch my previous um, when I was talking about the channel, the you know the future of the channel, and then uh, yeah. So back in the office and looking forward to review a new liquids by Drake's. Now I've got uh, two that I pre-recorded. Um, I think it's a Cavendish and a Mango from the Tobacco Fusion. But why I decided to jump the queue of those two videos that I recorded quite a few weeks ago um, and bring forward this, this one what we're going to review today because this is a new liquid by Drake's. And in fact, I went and asked somebody to get it for me. And so it's not Drake's didn't send it to me, but nevertheless, it'll make no difference to me at all. Um, so let's review it. Okay, so this is called Drake's Greek Basma Oriental. As usual with Drake's, the, the labeling is a spot on. I mean, this is a typical Greek island, uh, very, very nicely done. It's very high resolution, as you can see in the thumbnail of this video. Um, yeah, very nice job. So, um, what is it all about? So, there is a, over here, I don't know, you can't see it very well. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, I, I'll bring up now a um, close-up of it. Um, so, you'll see it now on your screen. Greek basma. Greek basma oriental is quite uh, the aromatic leaf that can add a unique flavor profile to any mild to medium blend. So, for some people who like to mix it, I'm not sure to blend it with other blends, but we're reviewing it as neat. This classic Greek Oriental leaf has a wonderfully smooth flavor and adds a slight spice and floral kick to the mix. Mm. Now, if you look uh, below, um, I put in, I, I copied and pasted from Drake's website. So it says here, um, it has a, uh, well, this tobacco is widely regarded as one of the finest tobacco varieties available in the world. And for good reason, it has a complex and aromatic flavor that is loved by tobacco enthusiasts all over the world. And then it goes, you'll see as well, Basma Tobacco e-liquid flavor profile is a bit different than the one I just showed you. Uh, so the e-liquid has a rich complex flavor profile that is highly aromatic. It has a distinct smoky taste. Now, no smoky was mentioned in the small, in the, the, what's on the bottle here. Uh, so we'll see in a minute. With a hint of sweetness, which makes it a popular choice for both smoking and blending with other tobacco varieties. So I think he's talking about the leaf rather than the liquid. Uh, the aroma is earthy and woody with a subtle floral note. This tobacco is known for smoothness, making a great choice for those who enjoy milder smoking experience. Again, smoking. So it also has a relatively low nicotine content compared to tobacco varieties. So obviously he's talking about smoking it in a pipe. There's no cigars, uh, Oriental, right? So this is a pipe tobacco. Um, but the beginning, you write Greek Basma Oriental tobacco e-liquid has a rich. So it's a bit confusing. Never mind. Uh, the best way to do it is to test it. Now, what have I got to test it on? On the Elbrich Mouth to Long RTA. Uh, yeah, this will bring out the flavors beautifully. Now, I've already filled half the tank. I didn't want to overdo it before I taste it. I'm sure it's, it's excellent. Uh, you know, okay. So, um, but I will compare it to you. As usual, I like comparing it to one of my other favorite brands, La Tabacaria. And this is the La Tabacaria Basma. Yeah, Basma. Here we go. From La Tabacaria. Now, this, uh, 
vape quite a lot. I'm using the same bottle with the same label. Um, yeah. So well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it against the La Tabacaria. And let's see what the difference between them. So um, it comes in these lovely 60 ml bottles. And you've got here, it says 50 ml, as you can see. Um, and you get it in 50, 50 or 70, 30. And this is the 70 VG. Um, I added 6.4 milligram of 72, um, 6.4 mil of 72 milligram nicotine to make this a nine. Yep. Okay, so um, let's give it a smell test. Earthy. Bit floral. Mmm, smells very nice. Yeah, very like sort of earthy. Yeah, L let's try it before I talk too much because, you know, never judge um, a liquid by the smell only. Blata Bacaria, if I'm really talking about smell. That coca thing, you remember? If, I, if you watched my review on that, that the orange um, chocolate type of liqueur flavor. Well, the smell was different. The taste was um, surprisingly good. Okay. Right, so um, let's align the airflow. And let's give this a go. Ooh, nice, very nice indeed. Straight away you taste that s sweet floral note in this tobacco, but no smokiness at all. So that's why it strengthens with my idea because I didn't smell smokiness either. So when he talks about smoky, that's smoking the blend itself on the pipe. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> Not much nuttiness here, but it's earthy, sweet, sweetish. When I say sweet, when it comes to any teas, it is all tobacco sweetness, natural, not, you know, fruit or desserts or non-authentic tobaccos. That floral sweet note in here is divine, divine. Mild, mild, very mild. This is an all day vape, no question about it. But that um, floral, you remember if I, that I reviewed the, um, um, what was it called? The Krum of Grad Oriental. I like them both, Juice Cabin, I compared it to Juice Cabin and to um, Drake's, the one I said the thank you for your feedback on the channel debate. It's got some similarities to this one, but this is a bit sweeter and sort of more on the floral note. This is a tobacco liquid for those even for those who don't like tobacco, yeah, there is <laughs> some vapors who don't like tobacco, yeah. Uh, because this is, it's not in your face tobacco here. Yeah. This is sort of a floral mix of earthiness, a bit of sweetness. The floral here is delicious and the spicy oriental, but it's a sweet spice here. So this is one of the most recommended blends for those who don't like tobacco or never vape tobacco and want to try a tobacco flavor this is a very good first try Ooh, very nice indeed now while these flavors are fresh in my mind in my mouth let's taste the la tabacaria basman i've got it on the replay I normally use my Bronhilda, but my, my Bronhilda is used by one of the guys here, yeah. <laughs> and he's still up north, so he's got my Bronhilda. So I'm using um, the replay as a um, RDA mouse to long, yeah? Okay, so let's give uh, the Basma a go and we'll see what the differences are. 
Okay, first of all, the color of the liquid here is sort of more on the amber, but that's maybe because it's been steeping for a while and the nicotine maybe darkened the liquid a bit. Yeah, I took out the cap for the liquid here. Yeah, because I'm using it as an RDA and also like this, I can just insert the top cap without trying to find that spot um, that should be aligned. Yeah, have to be careful not to lose that thing. Um, yeah, if you lose it, it's a problem with the vacuum. If you fill up the tank, right? So let's give um, Lata Bakaria a go. Mm. This is more robust. Yeah. Now the Basma from Lata Bakaria is one of my all-time favorites. Similar spicing, but it hasn't got that floral note like the Drake's it has. Uh, maybe a touch, but this is more on the spicy, more full-on tobacco, a bit more, maybe a bit of woodiness here more. Maybe there is a difference between the Greek basma to the basma, I'm not sure. I put below as well a history of basma tobacco. Um, read it, it's very, very interesting. I always recommend to read what you vape, to know what you're vaping. Well, let me try now the Drake's. It's a bit noisier, the airflow, the Elbrecht, but the flavor here is superb. If you know how to wick it right, one of the best tanks with budget. Yeah, the, the Basma from Lata Bakaria is a bit more robust and a bit less on the floral note here. It's got a bit of sweetness, but I think the Drake's all in all is a bit sweeter. Um, both are excellent quality goes without saying but they're very they're a bit similar in in the essence of the tobacco what happened here why is it not working oops something has gone wrong here was the battery is flat something's gone wrong with this tank hmm Either the coil got loose or what? Ah, yeah, we're back on. Have to check it out later. Let's try it. <coughs> yeah. They're quite similar in a way. The Drake's is a bit sweeter, a bit more the floral, and the Lata Bacaria has got that oomph to it. I just love them both. Both are um, fairly mild. I mean, the Basma you could also vape all day long. It's a bit more robust, less on the floor. There's a touch of sweetness here as well. There's a bit more noted the floral note on the Drake's. So, what do I think of it? Well, it is now one of my top favorites, the ba the Greek Basma by Lata Bakaria. It is very similar to Lata, by Drake, sorry. It is very similar to Lata Bakaria in the general profile of the leaf. But maybe the Greek, uh, maybe it's to do with Greek, I'm not sure the Lata Bakaria Basma is also Greek or not, but whatever it is, the Drake's has got that extra touch on the floor and I think is a bit sweeter. Yeah. But very similar, I must say. Mm. Very similar, yeah. That means that is top quality. 
Well, the difference between them is uh, the obvious in um, the mixing, because La Tabacaria, you buy it in concentrate and you have to add. Um, to do the mix itself is very easy. If you watch my La Tabacaria review, there's a mixing chart, but the Drake's, you get it ready-made and just add your nicotine. Now, Drake's rec give you nick shots. I do recommend, if you can, to use 72 milligram so if you vape over three milligram, you use 72 milligram nick. So you could add the 6.4 mil and yeah, without diluting the flavors first and second, they can fit them in the bottle. So um, this was my review on the Drake's Greek Basma Oriental. Well, I'm not sure how I'll title this video yet, but most probably, I would put in somewhere there that if you never vape tobacco or you want to try tobacco, um, the first step, yeah, to get you into the tobacco scene that I highly, highly recommend um, is to try this one. And then you can go to a bit more robust, try the La Tabacaria one, and then go to a bit more the Virginia where it's more also a bit of sweetness and then you can go further up the ladder to more smoky ones the latakia blends and uh, yeah slowly slowly you get yourself introduce it to yourself to the wonderful world of tobacco liquids mm. okay um until the next review take care enjoy your vape bye bye for now